What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Cobra Kai, Season 2, Episode 10, the season finale to Season 2. We're done! This <laughs> is called No Mercy, and the way Episode 9 left off, it sounds like we're going to get chaos. Absolutely. Dimitri, Dimitri at a party decided to do a stand-up act on Hawk's behalf. Uh, and, let's air the dirty laundry. Yeah, Hawk the bedwetter. Like Hawk's gonna friggin' murder that dude when he gets a chance. Like know, that's gonna be really sad. You gotta think about what you're gonna say and how it's gonna affect people yeah, in the like, long run. He definitely was like in the moment. Yes. He was not looking forward. No. Like we've got Sam and Tori beefing really hard. I feel like they're gonna fight real soon. I don't know where or when, but the next time they see each other, I'm just gonna imagine. Because she caught Sam and Miguel kissing. Uh oh. But is she also gonna get mad at Miguel, or is she gonna oh, think for that sure. it was just all Sam? I'm sure she'll get mad at Miguel, but that whole situation is gonna be good. I think Tori is the better fighter, but I think kind of like you mentioned before, she might be a little overly emotional. And she's you know, fighting I think, with I think, a lot of anger, and you mm -hmm. gotta, you can't put your emotions in there. You just gotta yeah. fight. You know, and then after the party, Sam and and Robbie showed up to Johnny's place just hammered. And we just, uh, Daniel and Johnny had a great moment. They, yeah. they like shook hands. They had a great dinner. They had fun on their they dates. They danced. And I think that's all going to go out the window now too because he's going to think something negative about Johnny having his daughter at their house. I and... mean, or does Johnny get to use this information? Like, who lets their daughter get drunk? Yeah, it, it all sounds bad. There's all kinds of chaos. I'm, I I don't know where this is going, but I think it's gonna be fun. Does Kreese show back up at some point in this final episode? It's just, there's so many things going on. The new Miyagi-Do kids versus the, the like Cobra Kai kids. Like, there's just a whole bunch of this. Yes. I feel like there's a whole bunch of tension that's building up. School is starting back up. That's going to be interesting. We're clearly not getting a tournament, which is a little upsetting, but I'm not going to question the show's How much can they shove in 33 minutes? Yeah, I don't know. But I don't, I don't, I don't see a tournament playing out, but I think we're going to get a lot of chaos. Do you have any other thoughts before we jump into this? No. Let's go. Hey Sam, good Sam's morning. Sam's not home. Where is she? Hey, it's Sam. Leave a message. Still keeps going to her voicemail. Robbie's not picking up either. Do you think they're together? Well, they're our teenagers. You know, I trusted Robbie. Sam better be okay. Why would she ask if she's okay? She was drinking? The cops? Yikes. Find my iPhone. She's somewhere between Sherman Way and Sadako. Yeah, what is she doing in Reseda? They didn't even come up with an excuse. They just didn't even call. But look, I'm going to have to tell LaRusso about this. It's his kid. Look, please don't. If he sees her like this, it'll crush him. Let me take the blame. I'll say I got drunk and told Sam to bring me here. Liar! Johnny? Hey, man. Is my daughter here? Yeah, just calm down. But don't tell me to calm down, all right? Where is she? Look, I had a crazy night. Kids do these things. You need to open his door right now. Hey, I don't need to do anything until you cool off. Gosh darn it. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Oh. Into the TV? You wanna finish this? Oh my God. Don't. Sam! I I'm fine! I Why did you call or text us? Mr. LaRusso, it was my fault. I brought her here. I gave you a second chance. This whole thing was a, was a mistake. You know, you wanna end up like him, that's up to you. I mean, you can't keep the parent away from the child. It's not like he was gonna hurt Sam. No. 
It's hard to say that he overreacted, but watching this sitting here, he overreacted. I'd probably freak out being the father I'm like, of I'd be pissed. I have to tell you something. Miguel gave me the Medal of Honor, and I put it in the backyard so someone would find it. How would you do that? I didn't want him to earn any points with you. I guess I felt insecure. Thank you for telling me the truth. Uh, I do appreciate your passion, taking initiative and all, and your resume is a little spotty. I mean, do you have any actual security guard experience, Mr... Oh, Stingray. Just one word, Stingray. I just recently won the Black vs. Red Challenge at Coyote Creek. No big deal, mm. except for the karate community. It's a very big deal. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> oh, shit. You're not allowed to... Samantha LaRusso. You know what she did, and now you're gonna pay for it. I'm coming for you, bitch. Uh. Great first day. First period was awesome. <laughs> so, right. No faculty to be seen anywhere. Where the hell is a teacher? You kiss Miguel. Dang. Damn. You okay? Stop. Let her go. Uh oh. School brawl on day one. Hey man, we gotta do something. Oh gosh, now he's just hot, man. Wow. Dang. This is so insane. Good shot, kid. Oh, never mind. Oh my god. This is a dope one shot. This is a one shot, isn't it? Dude, this is so dope. Dude, the choreography in this fight scene is dope. Oh, damn. Call the cops, anyone? Oh, gosh. Is it bad that I want somebody to hit Hawk? Wow. Oh, shit. Yeah. What? Bitch. Dimitri, I know you're right here. You are all getting expelled, by the way. <laughs> like. Suspended at least. I mean, I would say jail time for this shit. For sure. <laughs> School brawl? It's like a riot. Children injured? <laughs> There's gonna be a lawsuit. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that marble floor! Ouch! Ow! 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 Wait, is this whole episode gonna be a fucking brawl? Apparently. Jeez. Oh shit! Is that the only way you know how to fight? Dirty. This isn't a tournament. Oh, bitch. There are no rules. Hell yeah, Dimitri. Hell yeah. 
<laughs> oh yeah! Fuck you, Hawk! I like the ching ching mocking sounds of it. Oh! Ow, bitch! Oh, oh shit. There's your no mercy. <sighs> Damn, Robbie. He's mad. Real mad. I wasn't felt the difference between mercy and honor, and I paid the price for it. If I'm extra hard on you, it's only because you have the potential to be better than I ever was. You want that, don't you? I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Do? Holy shit. Is Miguel dead? You can't survive that shit. No fucking way. Shit. You've seen your fair share of these, so you know the next 24 hours are critical. It's gonna pull through, right? We're doing everything we can. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Before Miguel met you, he was a sweet boy. He avoided fights. Now look what you did. I never want to see you again. Damn. Hey, Sensei, it's Miguel. I'm having some girl trouble as well. You're better at this sort of thing than me. I'll come by the dojo after school. My mom's working tonight, so maybe we can grab a burger at that place you like? I can talk to you later. Damn it. them down when they needed you the most somebody needed to remind them what it takes to win no man Miguel's in the hospital because of you he showed mercy to Robbie Keane because of you if he dies that's on you I told you not to show weakness get out this is my dojo when you were out of town I had a little talk with the landlord oh what the fuck but you know the problem with those Handshake deals. There are no guarantees. This is some bullshit. Can't do this. I found it, Cobra Kai. It belongs to me. It always has, and it always will. This is some bullshit. I will never let my students lose, even if they have to learn the hard way. One day you'll thank me for this, Johnny. Really? This was a mistake. You went Cobra Kai. It's yours. Oh man. I'm not gonna let Cobra Kai get away with this. Enough with Cobra Kai. Did you see what this stupid rivalry has done? Our daughter is in the hospital. No more karate. Okay, all right. Amanda, I know, you're right. No Thanks. more karate. It's over. Fuck. 
I gotta say, they're fitting a lot of shit in 33 minutes. I wore this when I was training for my first tournament back in 81. I want you to have it. It's so heavy and oh, who's the man? Tell me you're the man. One of the best things in my life has been teaching you. I'll always be on your side, and I'll always have your best interest at heart. I tried my best. I thought I was doing the right thing. I'm sorry. Robbie go just took off. I won't let him go straight. Did Allie finally message him back? Is that what it's going to be? Oh, she sent him a friend request. Damn, man. Damn it, when does season three come out? That went in a direction that I never in a million years I was not expecting would that. have expected. Mm. That was really good. Yeah, it was not excellent. That was that was one of the best episodes. That was so crazy. The way it was choreographed, that whole fight scene through the school, that like really long one shot, like everything looked good. The fights were like, it was, it sucks that Miguel is freaking fighting for his life. Like that, that is so wild that it ended like that. And then it was Robbie. I totally, I totally thought this was just going to be between Tori and Sam. It just Johnny's lesson came back and and hurt Miguel. I know. Because he showed mercy and. But where was Robbie's teaching in that? It was gone. There was there was nothing, nothing ever obviously clicked for him. Because he, the moment he had that that switch flipped and he was in aggressive mode, there was. He was just nothing but a dangerous dude who yeah. who knew some karate. And he has he just he has too much pent up anger. Yeah, for sure. Like Daniel tried his best with him, but he has he has darkness inside of him. He has a, a an aggressive mean streak that once that kind of thing starts, that it, it's hard to control that. Yeah. And he friggin' kicked Miguel over a banister and landed on a handrail. From like two stories high or something. <sighs> I feel bad for Johnny. I do. I feel really bad for Johnny. He's getting shit on. He, he tried. Didn't mean for this to happen. Yeah, he tried his best to do what he thought was right, and it came back and completely bit him. Fucking crease, dude. I knew that dude would like. There was no way he was ever just gonna walk away and let Johnny own Cobra Kai. He's the founder. I'm sure he's got business paperwork about it. I was like, thinking, I was like, yep, I went to a lawyer and, you know, it's all been signed over to me. Yeah. I mean, the, I don't know if Johnny, I would have to assume Johnny never took all those steps to actually legitimize get the, the business or just get the rights from Crease. Like, I don't know how I, I I'm not going to try to assume that. The legalities of it all. Yeah, just the fact that it was how it was done or how it was handled or if Cree still owned the rights or if that stuff expires. Like, there's a whole bunch of stuff that but probably... apparently you can just talk to a landlord and just be like, well, yeah, I'm the, I'm the new owner now. Well, of course you can. He made a he had a handshake deal with Johnny and the guy... I know, but still. And Crease probably went in with like a sweet deal to promise him stuff. He's like, and probably signed a contract and it was... That's that. Like, when you own the building, you can do whatever you want if you don't have sucks. a... Like, I'm, I'm going to go into a, a building and be like, talk to the landlord. Yeah. I'm your boss. Well, <laughs> normal landlords have paperwork and leases. I don't think Johnny actually had one. The only thing that comes to my mind 
is we have no other choice but to have Johnny Lawrence and Daniel LaRusso team up. I was like, and fight Crease. There is no other option. He's old. So are they, but less He's old. He's way older. Less old. Um, that, that is the only thing that came to my mind at the end of that, is that they have to find a way to partner up and, and figure this out. And Miguel better not be dead. Like, and he better be able to walk again. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking, like, paralyzed or coma. Or... I mean, he we might see his, his fight back in the next season, which would be an awesome thing to see yeah. him, him fighting to get back. I, I, Johnny needs to be with Miguel's mom. I mean, I, there's but obviously a lot of emotion. Not... There's a lot of emotion that went into that whole situation. A lot of really horrible things happened. A lot of bad things were said. I'm sure as things calm down, Johnny won't be held as, as accountable for everything. Because, I mean, is it his fault? Like, sure. Ish. But, but it was like, if none of, none of what happened to Miguel was because, like, he didn't initiate any of the fight. He didn't, he wasn't the aggressor. He was technically defending himself. He did the right thing at the end, and it just another punk ass kid decided to just not appreciate or respect that, and it ended up hurting him. But like completely blaming Johnny for all of that is, I don't know. I'm also, I don't have a kid who was injured in that brawl, so I probably have a completely different mindset if yeah. I had a child who, Absolutely. who got injured. Absolutely. But yeah, where did Robbie go? What happened to Tori? She's probably going to get arrested, I would imagine. Right. I Robbie's mean, probably going to get arrested if yeah. they find him, if we see him again, which right. I would imagine. Well done, guys. This show exceeded expectations, which is <laughs> like... Every time. Every episode. I mean, the whole, better and better. the whole season was just so great. I went in with insanely high expectations because... One, I love the Karate Kid movies, the first three. Season one of this show was spectacular. And it's impossible to not set expectations high when you have that kind of track record. Season one of this show, I told everybody and anybody who was willing to listen to me that you have to watch this show. It was one of the best things in the year that it came out. It was perfect. The callbacks, just the story... Everything about the show in season one was great. And they rose the stakes in season two. Yes. I cannot wait to see what happens in season three. This is so good. It just... It hits on emotion. Like it, the, the, I never... We, we saw a, a, a character from, from Karate Kid or the original die. Miguel, a high school kid, is looks to be like paralyzed or like severely like, injured extremely injured and like out in the hospital like those are things that i never thought we would see in this show mm -mm. i no. thought it was always going to be lighthearted and fun and funny and just like emotional on like a nostalgia type kind of, way. Superficial kind of way but they rose the stakes this season and i loved it same do you have any other thoughts? No. All right, y'all. That's going to do it for another season of another amazing show. Season two of Cobra Kai is a wrap. Wow. One less show to watch. Leave your comments down below. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we will see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.